Hi, welcome to the Mammoth Tech Show. I'm Jeff Birch, and today we'll be looking at a HTC smartphone, the Incredible S. The HTC Incredible S has been around for about a year now. So it's not the newest phone, but it is quite a well-specified phone. So is it a good option? Or should you hold out for a dual core machine? Well, here we have it, the HTC Incredible S. If you look at the back, you'll notice it has quite a different design. It's almost vac forms around the battery and internal um, gubbins inside the machine. There's a little speaker and there are two little LEDs which are very useful for having it as a little torch. A useful little function there of course there's a camera, an 8 megapixel camera and around the sides we have a little volume rocker there. Um, where's it? Yes, there's the headphone at the top and little slots so you can get your fingernails in to prise it apart. So, is it a good phone? The Incredible S has a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor a 4-inch display. It's LCD, or Super LCD as HTC put it, so you might consider it a step back from the AMOLED equipped desires, but it is still a very good bright colourful screen. The black, maybe not as black as you'll find on an AMOLED display, but really it's a very good display and you'd have to be quite picky to say definitely not I want AMOLED only but I mean if you do want AMOLED there you go it's a obviously it's a uh, capacitive display nice and responsive it's running gingerbread at the moment 2.3.5 it came out of the box with 2.2 but immediately updated itself to 2.3 gingerbread and HTC have confirmed, I believe, that Ice Cream Sandwich will be upgraded later on in the year sometime. The uh, bigger brother, the HTC Sensation, will be getting it first sometime in the spring. So think sometime summer, autumn, sometime like that for your dose of Ice Cream Sandwich on the Incredible S. As I said, there's a 8 megapixel camera and that will shoot 720p high definition video in common with most good quality smartphones these days. Uh, obviously upgradable memory and it's a good fast processor for a single core machine and that's probably nowadays where the only thing that would let it down somewhat is it is a single core machine and although most applications now will run fine um, in maybe a year or so when application manufacturers start to really push the Android platform with applications that require dual core the uh, its single core power will maybe find it lacking but at the moment it runs extremely well nice and smooth nice not the biggest screen four inch you can get uh, four and three quarters or even four and three quarters and uh, it's a good size, it's obviously auto-rotated. The bottom part 
of the screen, these little light up buttons along the bottom on some applications like the camera and some applications, the little icons will actually rotate when you rotate the screen. So as you spin it to the side, the little house home sign will also rotate, which is a pointless but nice feature. Being a HTC phone, it of course has HTC Sense, which is HTC's overlay, which they layer on top of the normal vanilla Android operating system. And uh, some people like overlays and some people don't. Personally, I think it's rather nice. I have been, I really quite like the uh, little icons and the little, uh, for the time and the little phone widget at the bottom the weather as we'll bring it up here it looks really nice particularly is it upgraded itself when it upgraded uh, a couple of months ago for up to HTC Sense 3 the effects that appear in the background when you select the weather really are particularly nice. Uh, you get raindrops coming down, hitting the screen and then wibbling their way down. Um, there's plenty of different effects. What have we got at the moment? Sort of a hazy, cloudy, sort of Superman-like zooming over the top of some clouds, but you'll get snow, you'll get rain, you'll get fog. Sometimes it's viewed it from the side, sometimes from underneath, so it looks like the rain is dropping down. It looks very nice. So the question is, is it worth getting a incredible S? Well, basically, it's whether you can get it for a good price. Some places are sending it for exactly the same price as a dual core machine, such as the Sony Arc S or similar. And really, in comparison with a dual core machine, its lack of uh, future-proofing, uh, should I say, will probably let it down and you're probably better off with a dual-core machine. But if you could find it at a good price, maybe around a £200 or so area, then it's a really good, solid machine that you'll be very happy with. Previous episodes of the Mammoth Tech Show are available in high definition at our YouTube page or in standard definition at the website at all the W's mammothtechshow.com. And now you can subscribe to the show in iTunes so it'll be delivered as soon as a new episode is released. So that's nice and convenient for you. If you want to join in on more Mammoth Tech Show fun, try our Google Plus or Facebook page pages where we'll make announcements and you can leave comments or suggestions for what we can do in the show. All comments and suggestions gratefully received. I've been Jeff Birch. This has been the Mammoth Tech Show. This has been the HTC Incredible S. Thank you very much for watching.